Going to the drugstore these days is even more frustrating than usual. Before, you might have to ask a clerk to unlock an expensive item. But these days, things as ordinary as toothpaste are under lock and key. And as Amber Cagliano reports, there's a reason why. It's the new strategy in the war against shoplifters. Drug stores are locking up just about every item for sale, including everyday staples like toothpaste and moisturizer. Even basic painkillers are under lock and key at many big chain locations. Deodorants right here under lock and key and take a look over here. Toothpaste. I would have to call a manager just to get a pack of toothpaste. We have deodorant locked up. We have body wash locked up. Shampoo, conditioner locked up. Basically everything in this aisle is locked up. Customers must press a button and wait for store personnel to unlock the plastic security case. Thank you. No problem. Customer frustration is growing over the hassle of shopping for basics these days. We've come to expect the anti-shoplifting lock and key tactic for expensive items. But for soap? My soap that I normally use is now also locked up. I needed to get a, someone who works in the store just to get a, a thing of toothpaste. Many shelves are empty and it's not from the supply chain crisis. It's from shoplifting. Drug stores like this are under siege due to the high amount of theft that's happening across the country. Man of Steel is the headline on a story about a New York suspect arrested 46 times for shoplifting just this year and repeatedly released, only to allegedly do it again. Walgreens just announced that it's closing five more of its stores in the shoplifting hotspot of San Francisco. That's on top of the 10 already shut down. Inside Edition was reporting on shoplifting at a Walgreens in San Francisco last year when this guy leaped up and helped himself to an air mattress right in front of our camera. Take a look at this. Air fresheners under lock and key. 